Okay, Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation in my car. Um, it's 10.01 and I'll explain later, but it's Bashar seminar time. It's like right, it's 100 feet around this corner, the little U-turn here. Glenn's not a morning person, what do you want from me? Blah, 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 blah. So, depending on what's going on with Mr. Siren, I will soon be arriving. And, uh, so I said I'd document this and there's uh, at least one person waiting that wants to chat at the seminar and it should be interesting to be in that energy, especially when I'm still sleepy. Got a turn. So I wished myself a parking place, seriously right out in front, like right in front of the hotel. And uh, it was like, it's literally the one right next to the entrance. I was like, seriously, yay, manifestation day. And uh, so I have my golden ticket, and I am on my, I'm on my way inside. I think I need to use uh, the facilities before I do anything else today. I have my pretty shirt on today, all nice and homespun, purchased in Long Beach. We'll see you soon. Alrighty, Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation. I'm doing this in the car. Like, tucked off to the side. I, if I do it outside, it's like 11.30 at night. I've been at the Bashar seminar till five o'clock. I got a sweet spot like right next to the entrance, which was intended before I went. And I was a little late, so I didn't get to put my name in the hat. Um, I could have later in the day, but I met some very lovely people. I even talked to Daryl a little bit, have some pictures with Daryl and uh, with April. I actually, <clears throat> used the laboratory like during the course of the day and on the way back I ran into April and had a chat with her and a dialogue escalated to uh, have further conversations to maybe do some uh, computer based stuff for Bashar Communications. They're all quite lovely people. I ended up having dinner with someone that came from out of town on business and stayed an extra day when he found out Bashar was going to be here. and. Uh, I dropped him off while we went to Mandalay Bay and had dinner and chatted for hours on end and then um, I saw him to the taxi line and he went off to the airport because he was leaving tonight. I ran around and did some errands. I saw some people, this is day two of the car, I saw some people that I haven't seen forever that work in the local area. So I just got, stopped by and went, yo, and talked to them for a while. I have a meeting with him now to do, uh, to come in on one of his productions for crowdfunding. It has been a pretty epic day now. There's some pretty cool things from the seminar, like when you're going between, sliding between other frequencies. Hey, you gotta buy the Cybo. When this comes out, you have to have it. This is, it, it, it's an interesting technique and it's a fascinating process. But um, some of the things that were conveyed, one for me personally, when I was a kid, I used to have these reoccurring dreams that kind of felt like nightmares where I couldn't move and I was like paralyzed, but I was consciously aware, I was awake, and I was aware, and, and don't believe their dreams. And when you slide between different dimensional realities, when you go to a higher frequency, or if you're doing energy work, especially if there's people helping you when you're younger and activating DNA and codons, it's there to make it more of a subtle transition and your neurological network hasn't re-geared to those higher frequencies, so you're paralyzed for a little while. And that explains, there's a lot of things that explained a lot from when I was a kid. It was epic until I was like probably like nine years old or whatever. But I wanted to do this as a close to the day and thank you all. And the car is freaking wonderful to be able to go A to A to B under my own power. And I also promised you, and it's 1134, but I promised you, and I'm so, so tired. I've been up all day and this is an unusually long day for me. But I promised you to go back to the area where I took the um, the video of when it was dust so you could see the whole valley. It is now lit up with all the casinos. So I'm going to excuse myself. I'm going to turn off the light and I'm going to do another video to show you the valley as a treat for today's outing. And thank you all again for all of you who helped to make this possible as well for the car. It is a different frequency today. It is uh, just so many opportunities to go to Sedona. Uh, Sedona, 
and to do different things. Uh, I met up with people that I saw the last time that are living here now that used to be in Canada. Quite wonderful people, very nice energetically. Invited them to some meetings I have there. It's just been, dude, there's just way too much I can tell you and I'm way too try, tired to try. I'll convey more information from the seminar stuff, but you have to buy it. It really is, if you'd like any Batar, Bashar's materials, I'm so tired, that this is an epic one for you. you it's a must have. Now I'm gonna go wander off and find a good place to do a video um, to get the sunset before I freak out the neighbors around here. Thank you very much for joining me. Glenn Parker, High Vibration Foundation, Coaching Life, Business, and Spiritual. Also, retreats, boys and girls. Don't forget retreats. My hand is killing me. Um, down below in the description, there are tons of things going on. Find the link that speaks to your heart and follow it, and you'll find the information that you are looking for in this lifetime. And if you do like this video, please like, subscribe, and share.